We've seen the difference between riding a cheap bike and a super bike while cycling. And well, it's pretty big. Super bikes allow you to ride faster for the same effort. And that's probably why they feel so much fun. Yeah, but what about in the real world? What about riding in cities, riding to and from work? Have you ever wondered how much difference a super bike actually makes to your commute? I wonder what it would be like commuting on a superbike. So in this video, we are going to find out by doing an old-fashioned commuter race. My weapon of choice is this, the Orbea Orca Aero. This is one of the top-of-the-range bikes and would feel right at home at the Tour de France. It's fully carbon fibre and it's aerodynamically optimised. It's got electronic gears from Durace Di2 and to top it all off is I've gone for aerodynamic carbon fibre rims from Vision. Yeah, it's fair to say, Ollie has absolutely no chance. I'm not heading to a regular bike shop, nor am I going to a budget Walmart type store. I'm going to the Bristol Bike Project, which is a non-profit initiative set up to help give underprivileged people access to bikes. They also reuse, recycle and repair older bikes and sell them at a fraction of the cost of Hank's Superbike. It's a cheap bike with a conscience. Here we are, mate. So this is it in here where they refurbish and repair bikes, and they've also got their fully repaired bikes for sale as well. So there's quite a selection. Right, mate. Yeah. I've seen one. That BMX over there. Look at that. Perfect. Fortunately, I've retired from jumping in stunts since Taiwan. But there is one that's caught my eye, which is that rather smart-looking single speed. I it's know also why the you cheap £195 yeah. bargain. Right, uh, one bike, please. Okay, uh, £195, please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> In the candy shop. I've got a new bike, and I'm really pleased with it. It's the perfect commuter bike. I mean, it's single speed, so well, it's really low maintenance, ideal for commuting. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, we've got brakes, front and rear, aluminium frame. Again, durable and you know pretty light for what it is. And Continental Gator Skin tires. These things are absolutely bomb-proof. They last for ages. Ideal for commuting. All right, let's get to it. Now, I am really going to put the hammer down as soon as we go to really make Ollie work for this one. I think I'll probably leave him for dead on the open roads, but I'm going to try and make it count through the city streets as well. <laughs> He's got no chance. Right, ready to roll. Our experiment today is a simple one. We're doing an old fashioned race from here in Bristol in the southwest to Bath in the southwest. Yeah, we've plotted the route on Kamut and it's 21 kilometres long and it begins in urban roads with lots of junctions, lots of traffic lights, quite busy, before heading out into some nice undulating, flowing, sort of idyllic cycling roads before the fast run into Bath. I guess what we're trying to find out here is how much faster can we get to work, which means more time in bed, more time at home, I guess, and more money saved. Yeah, well, time is money. The smart money as well, and, and my money, it is on you and your super bike to, to beat me. But I want to see how much time this black beauty, absolute bargain, uh, concedes to your super bike. A lot. Well, hopefully not too much. Get pedaling, mate. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I might not get extra time in bed, but at least when we do get to bath, unlike James, I'll be able to afford a coffee. Or probably about 5,000 coffees. <laughs> Keep sprinting for every single light. It's ridiculous. Fortunately, they keep on changing to red, giving me a chance to catch up so I can sort of keep going. Having to constantly accelerate on a slightly heavier bike, it just definitely requires more effort than Hank's super light carbon ones. And it's hard to quantify, but 
Being an aluminium frame, it's just not quite as stiff and not quite as efficient when you put the power down. But to be honest, unless if I was just riding normally to work and I wasn't racing against the Duracell bunny, I probably wouldn't notice. <laughs> There's not much in it. Well, this isn't really going to plan, is it? It's like the tortoise catching the hair. I need a bit of light, luck to get through these lights, I tell you. Oh, he's done him! Oh, he's done him! <laughs> Not so fast. See you later. Right, it's been about 30 seconds without a traffic light. And Ollie's a speck in the distance. This is when I can gain some time to get some speed up. And a good point to make is that riding is all just about having fun and enjoying it. So why wouldn't you want to be on your best bike? After all, this is what I would do on the weekends. So making it count during the week makes sense, doesn't it? Well, I mean, it is great fun riding this. Right, now I'm plodding along. Let's talk about the benefits of commuting to work by bike. Now, aside from the health and fitness benefits and also the reduced environmental impact, cycling to work can also save you an absolute fortune. And being from Yorkshire, I'm all about that. Once you've paid the upfront cost of a bike, then the annual cost of cycling per year is estimated to be about 200 pounds. And that factors in replacement parts for wear and tear, things like your chain, and maybe a service from a friendly bike shop as well. And also a few accessories like waterproof clothing, which would have come in handy today. Now, if you compare this to commuting by public transport, well, a route like Bath to Bristol or Bristol to Bath by train is gonna cost you around 2,200 pounds a year. Loads. And then if you drove to work in a car, well, even a small family hatchback like a Ford Fiesta, that's going to cost you about £2,900 a year in running costs, which is loads. Although this isn't really a Ford Fiesta, it's more like a Volvo 850 estate. It's astonishing though, isn't it? The amount of money that you can be saved. But it is noticeably slower than my normal bike and I'm finding it even harder than usual to keep up with Hank. I mean... That is something that I do normally struggle with on my best bike. But the, the bike just feels a bit more sluggish. I mean, it's heavier, and so consequently, every time the road heads uphill, it feels a little bit harder. But, you know, this could be a good thing. I mean, to go the same speed, you have to put in more effort, which means you get a better workout. Every cloud. And <laughs> There's another advantage too, which is that right now, while Hank's riding his best bike, mine is safely tucked up at home, meaning that after I've ridden this all week, when I get it out and ride it on Saturday, it's gonna feel even better. Oh. Well, saving your best bike for the weekend is an interesting one. I mean, how long does it take to ruin your best bike if you're riding it every day? I guess it's like a car. If you've got a car and you take care of it, you service it regularly, you clean it and you look after it, but the bills aren't going to rack up. And it's much the same as a bike. These are made to take punishment. So as long as you serves it, clean it, loop the chain, etc. It will last. Then again, you will have to eventually replace brake pads and chain, etc. And that will be more expensive than Ollie's cheap project bike. But look how much fun you have out of it. Knee out on the corners, everything. Woo! 
One of the biggest differences between our two bikes are the brakes, and brakes are essential when you're commuting, or riding a bike anytime really, but particularly when commuting because of all the, the hazards and junctions and things that you often need to stop at in urban environments. But these brakes, they're a low cost brake, but even if they're properly maintained, they can work really well. Not as well as Hank's super expensive hydraulic disc brakes, but well enough to stop me should I need them. Oh, here it is. Oh, God. How long have you been here? Well, I had half my hot chocolate, so I would say around seven, seven and a half minutes. Seven minutes? <sighs> well, it's not too bad. Hank completed the 22.8 kilometre route in 41 minutes, 18 seconds, with an average speed of 33.1 kilometres per hour. He did have to stop for quite a few traffic lights out of Bristol. I managed it around seven minutes slower in 48 minutes, 42 seconds, around 28 kilometres per hour. Although admittedly, had I also been on a superbike, Hank probably still would have beaten me. Just by a smaller margin. One thing I did do, mate, I ordered you a coffee and... Oh, thanks, mate. A waffle. What, a a half-eaten Stroop waffle. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks, mate. Thanks for that. Well, I'll tell you what, right, the, the cheap bike does have a big advantage over the super bike right now. And that is, it's a far less attractive target to thieves than your super bike. And no bike lock in the world is going to stop a determined thief from nicking your bike. It's so nice. And I think it just makes it less practical. Like, if I want to stop off at the shops on the way home, you, you can't really do that with yours. It's by no coincidence that we're sitting outside and I've got a good view of my bike. But for riding purposes, the Superbike is a far better bike to ride and far more fun. But it's not that much quicker. And yeah, I can't just roll up to a cafe, leave it outside, or even a, a pub. Yeah, but I think if your commute is over a few kilometres, then there's no reason why you shouldn't do it on a really nice bike like that, because, well, you'll get to your destination quicker, you'll save more time. It's more time you can have in, you know, back home. It's not dead time, or you can use it to ride further, and you'll probably enjoy your riding more as well. Even a bike that costs a few thousand pounds can be cheaper than commuting by train or by car, making it economically justifiable. Yeah. Right, mate, I've uh, got to go. Where are you off to? Oh, I've got a flight to catch. Business class. Flying to the Maldives for a cruise. Putting all that money that I saved not buying a decadent superbike to good use. See ya. <laughs> well, I guess that ends our experiment. If you did enjoy this video, then make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And for more cheap bike versus super bike, why don't you click over there? I've got home vacation. He's got my bike! <laughs>